Yes. What happens on your from you folks? What do you do now? Well, uh, I mean, obviously, we knew that this is for real. This is going to be a well-funded campaign. Uh, they've got good lawyers. They've got good consultants. And uh, the good news is we've got good facts and are on the right side of the issue. This is bad for public safety. It's bad for worker safety. The business community and the law enforcement community in the state are going to care about this thing. And it's now time to get organized because this is real. Are you all the main opponents, to, I mean, campaign opponents against this? Or what? do you know what, what's taking shape on that front? Well, I, I will tell you, um, certainly in my role representing the Drug Free Action Alliance, mm -hmm. I have kind of become the self-annoyed, one of the self-annoyed spokespeople on the no side of this thing. And certainly as people have have seen my, my quotes, my phone has been ringing off the hook from all around the state, uh, prosecutors, law enforcement, folks in the business community who want to know what can we do to stop this. And now now that this is, uh, we've gotten to this stage and they're going to go collect signatures, uh, we're going to be organized very, very quickly. What kind of money do you think we're looking at on a campaign of this issue? <laughs> on this well, issue? I think on, on, on their side, I mean, they've said that they have $36 million committed. And I would be shocked. That sounds like the floor to me. I think uh, that's a lot of money. <laughs> it, it, I, I think it's a lot, a lot, a lot of money to me. The uh, I think that they, um, you know, this could be a forty to fifty million dollar campaign on their side. And I think um, in order to, to beat it here, you probably have to have uh, five or six million dollars and a really stellar grassroots campaign. You think you have that, or going to have that? I think we'll absolutely have that. I know we will. Can I just add one other thing? Go ahead, go ahead. Um, and I assume that they, they're continuing to talk about this being at, uh, on the ballot in 2015, uh, and there are question marks about whether or not that's the case or whether it'll be bumped to 2016 and be part of a, a larger political strategy around the presidential race in 2016.